Hey channel, welcome to my guys. Uh, hey, welcome channel to my guys. Uh, hey guys, channel to my welcome. YouTube channel my name is Eva Sam Eta aka Sam Mistakes aka that hot fresh yummy world chocolate don't forget that okay um, just like the caption of this video says I'll be telling you apps important apps you should have on your phone while you're in Germany apps that you could you know that would help you you know in your everyday life in Germany here you know without further ado let's get right into this video guys i noticed the numbers have been increasing i want to say a big thank you to all you guys who have been you know supporting my channel by subscribing liking leaving those comments in the comment section if you're yet to do so if it happens to be your first video you're watching on my channel please consider subscribing that way you support me and you motivate me to do more videos like this I have this all jotted down so i don't leave any stone unturned and there will be a bonus at the end of this video so if you want to stick around and wait for that bonus because it's really really important you stick around to get the bonus of this video so number one on my list is food i mean i love food guys so there are apps you have to have on your phone if you're the type who likes to order stuff like food you know at groceries and those things so number one on my list is lifrando on the friendly you can order meals you know from restaurant and it can be brought to your doorstep it doesn't take time you know i've used it a couple of times and you could use it at least once in a while when you don't feel like going out maybe to a restaurant you could just stay order a pizza or you know some um, chops you know order some fries like things you like you know and it's really affordable and then the other apps um it's flink flink is a very popular app also you have picnic picnic is kind of new um, in Darmstadt, so and people who have used it actually you know say it's a good app you could you know do your grocery shopping and stuff on the app and it's easy to use you know it's user friendly and within the some minutes you get your stuff delivered to your to your doorstep okay so uh, number two would be grocery shopping now when i came to germany newly i had to do like some market service some sampling i asked friends you know because most of the um, um, supermarkets have different you know prices you go to one and you go to another one and you discover that the prices varies you know so you just have to stick with one you know for for a particular thing and you also have to stick with another, you know. So you might not just stick with just one because every day prices changes and then sometimes the quality or don't get me wrong, everything you buy in Germany mostly are quality. What I'm trying to say is sometimes you might get more fresh things from a particular supermarket than from the other. Sometimes the prices may be higher than this for the same commodity, for the same goods you're buying from a particular shop so in that order number one would be aldi number two would be lidl number two penny you know reve and netto reve is like one of the you know most uh popular you know supermarket around here and in germany i, I can say uh it's a little bit pricey you know uh, i always use aldi because the prices are friendly and sometimes I use Reve once in a while when I don't find what I'm looking for in Audi, I can get it at um, Reve. And sometimes you could also use um, Netto. I, I think their prices are also friendly. And another supermarket which the prices are a little bit, you know, pricey is um, Penny. Yeah, it's Penny. So, I mean, make a choice which one you want to use, you know, and, you know, 
at the end of the day, they're all good. Okay, so you could have their apps on your phone or you could decide to just go to an in-store shop around you, you know, and get your shopping done. Number three would be the transportation app. I mean, you have to move from your home to school to you know to different places in the city you you're not just going to stay in your home all day or the whole of the year you're going to move at some point and the number one app you should have on your phone when you enter germany is the db app right you have to have the db app and i think recently they they, they redesigned the app and it's really looking different and nice you know compared to what it was so you should have the db app on your phone you could get it on the apple store or the android you know play store it's called the db navigator you know you could also get the rmv rmv is like one of the biggest associations of transport in germany you, so you should also have it in your phone you can check transport connections real time so for example i'm going out in the next five minutes i could just prepare and check my db app and it tells me what tram is coming next or what bus is coming next and how i need to connect to wherever i'm going to whether in within my city and outside my city you know so that's how good the app is you could also buy your ticket on the apps you know or you could buy from the vending machine it all depends on you and then last but not least would be the google app trust me guys when i came to germany i literally had to you know depend on google app yes i have to depend on google app because wherever i'm going to i have to just put it on the app and it just tells me i had my uh my uh, airports you know and it just tells me okay you need to go this place you need to go that way trust me i got when i came i got you know lost not like lost lost to the extent that maybe the police i will have to <laughs> declare me wanted no not uh, missing sorry not that kind of thing like but i maybe i'm going to a direction and then i find myself in b direction and these places are all just around you know each other they are so connected so it was the google app which i started using you know that made me know these places and that is how i you know found my way around in my city and outside my city so you want to have the google uh you know app like the google map app on your phone so next is the tier app which is still like the transports in, in under the transports where you can rent a scooter i think for the first time you're using it for 10 minutes or so it's free for 10 minutes or an hour is free and then the next time you're using it you have to pay a fee for depending on the number the duration you'll be you know renting the scooter and i mean scooter it's kind of easier to ride you know when compared to the cycle i mean no offense to the cycle riders but i'm just saying it just feels easier right so you also want to have that app on your phone and there's what we call the blah blah car it's in different cities so how this works is you have the app on your phone if for example you're traveling to um let's say which city you're, let's say you're traveling to berlin for example you go on the blah blah car app and then you're going to see like some other person is traveling to berlin you know with their car so you're going to oh i can i want to join you guys and then you pay whatever fee you are told to pay for the trip and then you'll be given a spot where you're going to meet up with other travelers and then you guys will travel in one vehicle to berlin so that is how the blah blah car works it's in different cities in germany so you won't consider downloading the app as well and next is the flick sports and train so sometimes you might not want to use like your 49 euro ticket or maybe for students it's for my school it's 26 euro ticket where you can travel all around germany if you want to use the flix bus you have an app it's called the flix app you could get it on play store or uh, or apple store you know you just download it and wherever you're going you put it and it tells you the fare you know it better you you book on time so you don't have to pay so much and then the for downstart the the stop or where you could join them is just close to the central hub and off 
at Darmstadt and then you know it's it's like it's literally um what do you call it it's like a road trip it's a bus very neat bus it has everything you have, you could charge your devices it has wi-fi it has ac in it and trust me it's a very neat bus you want to try one of those trips you know most times it's just good to go on adventures you might not want to use a train you could just use a bus and see how beautiful it is to travel by road so next on my list will be accommodation apps um, you have the bonovia you have vga uh, you have scouts 24 so all of these apps you could go on them and you see you know in whatever city berlin frankfurt cologne darmstadt bremen whatever city you're looking for just put in the location and you'll be able to see like houses that are available for rent um next is the language app i mean guys you're in germany you need to learn the language Apart from the fact that people here speak generally speak english apart from their language but it's highly recommended you learn the language you know to fully integrate into the system okay so you could learn the uh, the language via different apps and uh, medium you have like the dpo you have learn german on youtube you have the lingo you have tandem you have babel you have Lingoda, you have DW Learn German, it's an app as well. And then you have the Busu app. Some of these apps have like some, you know, subscriptions you need to do to gain full features into these apps. Trust me, they're all good in their own way. I used the Learn German while I was in my home country to learn German because I was unable to attend like a regular school for the course on the language so i had to use the apps to learn and trust me i was able to learn uh, with these apps and also with you know with uh, youtube learn german it's a youtube channel and it's very rich trust me from a eins to c eins you'll be able to learn if you know you you're focused and you know what you're doing and for shopping app guys i use Zalando, there's Zalando, there's Zara, there's Amazon, there's eBay, Klein, and Zagan. So eBay, you could get fairly used stuff that are not really, really, you know, so used and still in good condition. All you need to do is negotiate with the seller and it will be delivered to you. Amazon, you could get quality stuff. Theamo is like, you could get stuff most like at some very very affordable prices and sometimes not so good quality um so that's that for the shopping app and then you could also use like some um, in shop stores like c and a tk mark nike new yorker i use c and a and sometimes tk mark and their stuff are actually good with great prices so you don't have to break the bank to you know go shopping at the stores so onto the financial apps so you, these are like your you know regular banks app you have the Com commerce bank app you have sparkasa you have deutsche bank you have the revolut app you have the vivid you have n26 you could also get the paypal you could use Flutterwave, you could use StopTap, and you could use Ace Money. So all these apps, you know, it's one thing for you to have your bank account, you, and then it's another thing for you to have like apps you could use to make transactions via your account, right? And then also if you have like an online account like Vivid, you should download their app or Revolut, you should download the app and then the easy way of making payments here you could use paypal which is really easy and secured and also you know tap tap where you could send money from germany to different countries of the world so yeah that's that about the you no know, financial apps you should have on your phone so number eight on my list is i mean guys it's really really special like because i mean you're in germany you should mingle with people meet new people make new friends from different parts of the world you know don't just stay in your in your you know in your shell try to go out mingle with people and if you're not the type who goes out you could use this app's nation in, 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 in a minute and 
this is like the community where you could meet people you could you know if you're interested in dating you know or meeting new people for friends you know and stuff like that so you have apps like parship parship is like a german app and it's easy to use all you need to do is download the app you know fill out your details verify your account then you also have the tinder you have elite partner you have lemon swan you have zwei sam you have love scout 24 and so many of them you know so they are easy to use real people your account will be verified to know that to you know to check that you're actually a human being i mean to be sure you track them people who are also talking to you are real and you who is talking to other people are also real it's just it takes a few minutes to verify your account and you're good to go and some of these accounts actually re um, require you to subscribe with a little amount you know and trust me it's good i don't want to say more than that but i think i've been able to meet new people on this app so if i could then you can as well okay so next on my list is entertainment who doesn't like to be entertained so if you're not reading or if you're not making some sport or at the gym you should maybe be seeing the movie so as you already know in germany downloading from torrent is against the law here you will be fine really hard so you don't want to go against the law and so that's why you have apps like spotify for music it's really popular in germany and in europe you know and you could also use apple music you could use amazon prime for movies and you could use netflix for movies as well so these ways you could watch your movies or listen to your favorite music without breaking the law all you need to do is pay the monthly subscription for uh, spotify or for apple music and also for amazon prime as well as netflix and you should be able to enjoy your favorite movies at the world go guys when we started this video i said stay to the end of this video and i'll be giving you some bonus which is really useful for you guys so you know the bureaucracy in germany and all you know so if you've been able to get some of these documents you know and you're ready to work there's an app you could download on your phone it's called Zenjob, Z E N and job that's Z E N J O B. It's called Zenjob. You register and you're able to get jobs close to you or just outside your city, uh, if you, a little bit further if you like. Um, you could also get the app called Job Valley. You could register. Once you get verified, you issue jobs. So you could pick jobs you want to do. And, you know, like I always say on my channel, I only tell you what I have been able to verify. I don't give you details which are not true. I give you details that maybe I've been able to check them or I have personally used, you know, and I know it's also useful for you guys. Like I won't, I won't give you what is not good. Okay. So trust me, you could use this app send job or job value. So once you, sometimes you could be called like as an interview on phone and you, you be talked to by an agent from job value. And for Zenjob, everything is done on the app. And once you verify you've been given jobs, you know, you could just go do an eight hour job and you're paid and that's it. You're paid like half of the salary, you know, and then the other half comes the next month, 15th, of which those of you living in Germany already know how the payment system works, like per salary. So yeah, that's how the app works. And also, if you're interested in learning German, if you don't want to use the apps, you could register with Goethe Institute. It's in Frankfurt. You, you could Google to see the nearest one in your city in Germany. Um, for those in Hessen, there's one in Frankfurt. You could register. And I, I think uh, it's about a thousand euros the last time I checked. And if you're able to afford it, fine. You could register and start learning, you know, and hit the your your what do you call and hit the ground rolling you know and in terms of speaking the german language uh, uh, also if you're a student in tu darmstadt you could also join the next enrollment which is in summer semester for the intensive learn german classes which you have to participate i think it's from 8 to 11 every day for two months 
and I think you should be able to hit the B ions of PCY level from A ions to PCY level and it's intensive you have to participate in each and every one of the classes held I was unable to register for this because I had so much to do on my table I had like some exams classes and stuff and work as well so I couldn't combine everything together and that's why I will be doing it in the next semester in your university in the language school it's also offered you could enroll for uh, the what's it called uh, you could enroll for the intensive program or maybe the one which you just take two hours or three hours daily every week sorry three hours every week so for me it's better you go for the intensive offered in your school most german schools or universities offer language courses we've exhausted all the topics you guys do well to download all these apps and trust me you have a seamless you know process of settling down in germany if you get to subscribe do well subscribe hit the subscribe button down below turn on the post notification to get updates whenever i post news video hit the like button drop those beautiful comments until the next one Ciao.